Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Do you see it? Do you see the goats in the horse pasture? They're just loving it up in there. But then as soon as they see me, they come running. They only travel in a herd. So we got new fences put into our goat area. I don't really like this. We might end up changing this out. It was just something that we had that was that was easy to use. All the horses are down here, all in this one little corner. Then they put this fence up too. Um, if you guys remember, the gate was in the middle of this and then it had like that fencing on one side, the gate and then on this side, but now it's all just one big huge fence. But once they're done in this field, we'll probably leave them in this field for all of uh, September. It's a big field, it goes far back past that shelter. We'll move them over to this field and when we do, We'll open this field as well because right now they have to go back over there for this for the water. But once we open them up and put let them come in this field, they can come through here to go to the um, automatic waterers. It's glorious weather outside today. They ended up having to move some rocks when they were doing like the fencing. So we asked them to pile them together like this and it's so much better for the goats. So I'm excited that they have like, his goats like to hop from one thing to the next. So they have those now. When Ellie tries to steal the pond. <laughs> oh my God. She's stealing your pond. Ellie, that's poopy water. <laughs> Get out of my pond. I decided to move the pond again, their little pool again, because they all want to be together. They all want to be up in this area. This is where they like to be. So I'm gonna just put their pond up here so they don't have to travel when they want to swim. Woo! All of this goes in the water off. So I'm gonna fill up their, you go ahead down, I'm gonna go fill up their water bucket first. It's like a waterfall for them. Mm -hmm. Ellie. Ellie, come here. Ellie, come here and leave them alone. Ducks and geese are dirty in terms of like, if they're in a small space, they make it really messy. But also when they eat, when they, yeah, these guys are not too dirty because they're not in a concentrated spot. The ghost still found a way in. I know, but when they drink from water, they fill their mouths full of food and dirt. And then when they drink from the water, they, wow, I don't know, not know what's happening over there. Even though we fill up their water fresh every day, they make it so dirty so fast. I had like an electric rope here so that we could climb in and out, but then the goats were climbing in and out, which the Just goats climb dolphin. in and out anyways. Just be a dolphin. But um, they were ripping down the ropes. So Sam ended up having to put this stuff out here. It's just temporary. He's going to fix it and make it more... He's going to put like poles in the ground and make it more permanent. It. By far, the duck and the goose are the hardest animals to uh, take care of on our farm. I read that if you get like a ton of geese, a bunch of geese, they end up becoming like a family and they end up protecting themselves. So if you want a guardian goose, you have to have just one or two so that they will bond with the rest of your farm animals so that they will protect them. So today we have family and friends coming by. My sister and her grandson are coming by and they're gonna go for a trail ride and I'm really excited about it because I love walking on the trail. I love walking on the trail with the dogs. I love walking on the trail with the horses. I wanna take the goats on the trail. There's so many things I wanna do and so many things I want to improve on this property and I can't, there's not enough time in the day. I can't wait to get them all done. The possibilities here are endless and I can't wait to explore them. Thank you so much to all of you guys who have made suggestions for us. Some people said we should do a pond. I'm excited about the possibility of a pond. We live on a hill, so waiting for, so we're waiting for the spring to come. We're gonna see where water settles and see where a pond would naturally go better. I do think I have a good spot though. I think I have a spot picked out. I think I showed you guys the other day. I can't remember, but anyway, I do have a spot picked out. Just waiting for Gabby and Sophie to get ready and we're gonna go out there and tack up the horses. My sister has a new puppy, so we're gonna get to meet her for the first time. Ellie, okay, I want you guys to see a picture of Ellie. Ellie, sit. Sit. I want you to see Ellie clean from her swim in the goose pool. Oh no. 
and looking cute. This is her, looking cute. <laughs> her ear flops though. Not sure yet. Ellie's brave. <laughs> so cute. What? She's bigger than I thought she was. I know, everybody says that, but I wanted a farm dog and little tiny dogs just are not good for farm dogs. She's about seven pounds. They're adorable. Okay, so we're getting ready to ride. <laughs> All the animals were in here just a second ago. They all want to know what's happening. All right, so we're off on our trail. We're off on our trail. We got three riders. Lean back. So this is this is Bentley. Woo! I love introducing people to horses. Do you like it? <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. We're stopping to take pictures of the view. It's so beautiful. There's Ellie. She's just going up with us. All right, we lost the stirrup back there, but we're good. Keep my phone in that coat. Yeah. Don't you love her? She loves yeah. older women. Is that a nicer way to say it? Sure. I have my horse trained so well. <laughs> I took off the, Ellie, go. I took the reins off so my sister could ride by herself. And she took two steps and said, can I have a treat now? Like she knows. <laughs> I didn't catch it. Come back. Woohoo! Pull. <laughs> She's okay, good. She just wants to go back home. So see, she can go faster than a walk. Do you want her to do it again? Yeah, I'll wait till they're over. Okay. So I don't feel like I'm going to ram them the way before. She likes, do they like to go home? Oh. in the way, Oh. Allie. What do you think? Did you love it? That's real riding. Every time we come. I know, my sister loves storm. My sister loves riding. And Penny's the perfect horse. She's going fast. So clearly the horses, have, the goats have made it full circle around the property. Storm loves puppies. Uh-oh. So this is the first time I've actually physically seen the goats with the horses. And the test is going to be this boy. I have no more treats, Storm. Hey. You better run, goats! <laughs> they ran. He doesn't even care. Gracie might care. Gracie's like, hmm, were they in my field before? They don't care. They, they love the goats. I'm so impressed. And Ellie was a rock star on the trail. Yes, you were. Best friends. <laughs> Best friends forever, you guys. Like, instant love. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Ellie loves everyone. I love it. <laughs> She's our friendliest goat. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, oh, I missed it. But she was falling asleep in his arms. Oh, Chino's outside. No, he had a really bad setback today. So we just got home from Gabby's riding lesson. We got and soaked. Got I'm soaked. Love going in Chino's thing. Like yeah, anyways, the Chino had a huge setback today. It's because one complication from Lyme disease, advanced stage Lyme disease, is that they founder. So if he eats anything, I was talking about it yesterday, if he eats like three leaves, he will founder. Yesterday we found him eating from that tree over there. Like we saw him right away. We went out and we broke all the branches down. He got like four bites. And then today he went into a founder again. Literally four of the smallest bites you could ever get. And then his feet were so sore today and he goes into a founder. So like if we increase his hay, he founders. If we give him any uh, extra grain, like he either gets abscesses or he founders. Oh, and it's so pretty over there. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. Look at that blue. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Oh, you're so fat. <laughs> 
Anyway, we had such a good day today, other than Chino. Like, I just was crying so much over Chino. Like, seeing him, his feet pain is a million times worse than the Lyme disease. Like, the Lyme disease is nothing. Like, it's, it's not even... He doesn't even care. ...hardly bothering him, other than the fact that his feet get sore. Like, foundering is so much more painful. So, it, usually when he gets into something like I'm gonna have to start keeping him in a stall if I'm gonna actually save this horse look at Blossom she's so cute <laughs> she's so content she's just chewing yeah I'm just here <laughs> oh my goodness you're the cutest thing grass belly and I love that these guys like see how cute they are they're like a mom and daughter Oh, and they stay together. She doesn't <laughs> and care. There's the other two. She just hangs out. But look how fat the belly is. I know, is. They've, been, they've been browsing all day. The last thing I wanted to tell you before we end today's video is that um, I was really proud of our horses today. So my sister came with some of her family, uh, her grandson and one of her sons, and all of our horses were so good. Like, they're so good. And people in the comments, I was just catching up on comments right now, people were saying like the reason Penny is so calm here is because she's just in tune now she knows what to expect but honestly I don't know what it is she just loves these fields she loves riding here and I saw her with my sister my sister's like not a rider and she just rode her by herself and lay and storm was so relaxed and and happy and like we opened the gate to go down that trail and our horses are like yes we're going like I don't know our horses run all the time here like they're just running all the time like Storm and Gracie and the baby will just run all the time they just like if Storm can go if Storm has to go someplace he will literally run there before he would walk like I was thinking about it today like what is the difference in Storm like oh sorry oh, hi it's Rosie hi Rosie hi <laughs> she's like oh you smell like mint um Anyways, you're I'm trying to too. think, like, why is Storm the happiest I've ever seen him in my life? Like, he is so happy. And I think it's because he's with girls. That's what I think it is. I think... Scratch her head. I think it's girls. Do you guys think that he's happier because he's with mares? Like, mares kind of keep him... Penny keeps him in line, and he has to, like, I don't know. And Honey tries to boss him around. Yeah. it's Storm keeps Honey in line. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Comment below. Why do you think Storm is so happy? And like, I just can't get over the fact that our horses just love it here so much. I love it here. I feel so much more confident oh, in, the, in the fields, riding in the fields and down the trail. But it's just shocking, like how happy our horses are. Like, I can't get over it, how the difference in them. Somebody's screaming up here. Oh, <laughs> it's Penny. <laughs> we all came running. I could hear screaming. I'm like, what the heck is happening? We're but she loves him. This was so heavy. She literally loves him. Yes, we know. <laughs> Bloody murder. Aww. Hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the cutest. <laughs> I think he's the cutest of all the yeah, babies. Yeah, he screams bloody murder. The biggest surprise today that I had, like when other people come and ride your horses or see your animals, it's always like the best indication of, of like, if what you're doing with them is working. And my sister Gracie brought- was so good, she was trying with the kids. I know, Gracie was. Oh, Gracie's been riding so much more this summer. She's been taking grandkids. She's been riding. Gabby's been working with her. The boy is And the she's honestly been like, I wouldn't even say she like needs a, an advanced rider anymore. Like she's, she's calmed down. She's really good. But the biggest thing was that my sister brought her a little five month old puppy. Ellie's eight and a half months. And she can be really ferocious and play like really rough with our big dogs. Oh but it was just Ellie and this puppy. And Ellie was a dream with this puppy. This puppy was biting her ears, dragging her around. And Ellie just laid down on her back with her belly up and just let the puppy like be rough with her. Ellie played with the puppy. She was so quiet with the puppy. Like Ellie, Ellie truly was a dream. Not only was she a dream with this puppy, she went up to my brother-in-law and asked him, like, when she was tired, if she couldn't find me, she went up to him and asked him to pick her up. He, he, she was, like, laying on him. 
she was laying on him with his, her head on his shoulder. Like, people were shocked at how sweet she was with everybody. And you guys know what terriers are. Terriers can be like. She was, she was amazing. They're like you guys are here. That's it for the end of today. The Duck and Goose. Line. Me... Who are they now? Uh, Leo and Lucy. Leo and Lucy. If you missed yesterday's video, Zoe turned into a boy. Imagine if she just lays an egg. So now she's Leo. Leo and Lucy are headed into bed and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, so one last thing. <laughs> if we don't pet him at night or in the morning, he meows at me. But we always pet him. I know. She's just impressed that he likes it here and that he's been hanging out. He stays in the barn a lot. I haven't seen him outside yet, but he's I- He's gone outside once and I said, oh, I come back and he came. Yeah, but I haven't seen him like sneaking away outside. No, he's scared. Okay, good night. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?